Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid, picking up here shortly after our last episode. Uh, it's actually been a while. Um, Thursday was our last episode and it's now Monday. We didn't get one out on Friday, but we are back today. It is the second last day of the month, February 27th, 12.50pm. It is minus 48 outside, so it's slowly getting warmer the closer we get to March here. We're going to be starting this episode off by doing some uh, tree clearing. I'm going to continue making our pathway out to the highway, uh, which we've been working on all winter. And uh, we're going to see if we can't finish uh, getting the rest of the way out there today. So let's clear some trees. Let's not get bit. That would be a horrible way to start off the episode. Yes, let's cut down some trees here. Um, but those ones are probably... Ah, this one's a little bit in the way. Alright, uh, let's see. Let's clear this one. And some more zombies coming out. Leftovers from the horde or ones that have just migrated in. Have to be mindful here. Put those torches away. I, I refilled our torches. Yeah, equip. This is almost broken too, so have to be a bit careful. And there's a few over here, aren't there? Try and cut this down. Maybe I won't be fast forwarding through all this. Okay, so let's just look at our line here. Going straight out this way. Now we could just keep going straight or we could cut up here. So obviously less trees that direction. Take a look. Yeah, maybe we just go straight up. Let's do that. I think we'll build a uh, chair over here. Saw up. Uh, a couple. Put a chair right here. So we can rest. Good. Get the most out of this uh, expedition. Yeah, I think we'll just keep going straight this way. There's not many trees. A fair bit of zombies up here, though. I'm expecting maybe uh, you know two or three, but a few. Opens up nicely, and that's almost a straight shot to the road. I can see the power lines. That is our way forward. Get fully rested again. All right, so. Probably do this one, maybe those two. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I mean, it's a good thing we got our axe leveled up the other day. That's at five now, right? Or is it six? Level five. All right, that's a nice open space. Let's get rid of this one. And this, and then we're almost... We're almost there. So I think the plan will be to um, pave this, or at least, you know, put wood floor tiles down. Um, all the way out to the road. So it doesn't grow over. And it's easier on our car for driving in. Okay, that broke. Repair that. So we got a few more to go. Yeah. So I think maybe go in from there, but I think just going straight in from the road. It's gonna be be our best bet. Yeah, so I think uh, maybe even just these two, and we're good. those as well but I think this works got zombies over by the car up the road we're gonna get back and rest up or we could just rest here and then go clear those out as well let's put this axe away we're done with that Spear back out. Yeah, let's just rest here. We'll, uh, I'm drowsy. Let's just head back. We'll come clear up the road and car area tomorrow. But finally, months after getting here, that's now clear. The direct path to the cabin. Leave that in here. That axe. Uh, we could do some more fishing. You know what? Actually, let's go do that. Uh, weight wise, still 75. Uh, we have got rid of the underweight, though. Must be pretty close to 76. All right, let's see what we can catch here tonight. Okay, two is good. We're very tired. Let's pop this stuff off. Don't eat that. <laughs> Drop it. All right, so we'll get to sleep, and then um, we'll clear out that stuff in the morning. All right, next morning here. 
720 minus 51 last day of the month or it should be did a leap here <laughs> did someone I can't remember all right so let's uh do some shouting around here did I leave this running no I don't think so oh I did no I didn't no, I didn't did I? I did. Whoops. <laughs> Left that running for like two or three days. I might explain why there's some zombies around here. Whoops. Alright, let's do some more shouting up here. this general area nothing worthwhile in that duffel bag and then I think uh, today we're gonna maybe head back to the warehouse and storage units I'd like to get some paint we could start painting the inside of the house. Let's do a few more shouts. And we can get going. Need to get back in the habit of setting those uh, stick traps. Especially now that we've gone through all of our meat. Aside from those few fish we just caught. Should be good now. We'll set these ones again. So we have a chance. Okay. Let's hop in here that down. Oh, actually we've got all these gas cans, don't we? Oh, there's not much in it. Uh, let's temporarily roll that down so I can throw this out. It's not open. Drop all our gas cans. Gotta take this to the cabin later. Alright, I think we're good. Yeah, let's go down to the uh, warehouses and we can't scrounge up some paint. We're almost there. Let's see how bad this road is today. Uh, if there's a fair few on the road, we'll just hop out and start clearing. But it actually doesn't look that bad. Stop here and clear this intersection. I think we'll go to the uh, storage units first. We've gone through the warehouses a couple times now. I think there's still some units in the storage units we didn't actually get to. Right? I don't think we've searched that completely. Yeah, I think the last time we were here, we were looking for um, 
lighters for me in uh, cars. I believe. I'll take the service road. Drive right in. Let's get this thing turned around so we're ready to get out of here. And we'll start clearing. Oh, uh, out of water. It filled up before we left. some attention. Shouldn't be too many more after this. Knife. Oh no, the screwdriver. Oh, it's a kitchen knife. All right, let's top up our water. A couple more. There's a uh, dispenser in there. Up the washrooms. Okay. I think we went through all these, but let's double check for cans of paint. Lots of metal sheets if we end up needing those. Never noticed the um, sound difference, the ambient sound in these small storage rooms. Interesting. Oh, uh, another leather jacket. Let's grab that. Have too many of those. Oh, and scrap metal we will take for nails. Oh, yeah. Run through these. There we go. Light blue, red, uh, both pretty full. Put these directly into the trailer. Oops, I grab this one. Finish this roast here.
Still 75. Gotta be a, a fair bit of paint over here, eh? Honestly, don't remember from the first time we came through. We weren't really focused on uh, paint at that time. So I would think there's usually a fair bit here. Not very much. It's empty, empty. Okay, so a little bit of black paint. Down here. Oh, I guess we did open them all up. Been on our second pass through here. Oh, we're getting a little bit of running XP today. Let's scurry around. Uh, there is another generator here we don't need but all right it is still marked keep that in mind there's another gas station we want to hook up yellow paint So I think after we go through this stuff, we can just mark all these off for good. There's still metal sheets and stuff to come back for me. Yeah. We will save it then. Yeah, so we, we got some paint. Not a whole lot, but we got some. Some books here. There we go. Great turquoise. And another Jenny there. Okay. We got both those marked uh, on the map. Swing back over to the warehouses. Uh, you know what? We should check out the gas station and mechanic shop here as well. I've been there yet. Finish that smoke. Okay, so let's. Mark these off. Yeah, let's go up and check that out. Let's finish this smoke again. I don't know if we really need to go up to the trailer park at all. Maybe just look for barricaded homes. Or wall survivor homes.
Al's Auto Shop. Call him over and take care of a bit of the population here. line of zombie corpses. There goes that spear. Did another one out here. What are we up to? 5601. through this stuff. Ice matches. Let's go inside. Now, I don't think we're going to find any paint in here. Might not be much of anything in here. Performance suspension. But uh, this car looks a bit beat up. Actually, completely beat up. It's a wreck. Alright, let's mark that off. Four ten. So we've got a few hours before the uh, sun starts going down. We'll pass on the diner for now. Check this out. That's another uh, camper. The key on the ground there, I see. Grab that. Van. That camper looks like it's pretty good. Let's 
take a look under the hood. Okay, I can't do anything there with the window. Uh, it looked really good though. Take another look. In a moment. this. Oh yeah, beautiful. Uh, that would definitely be one to take. Let's mark that off. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll mark with this. That's a keeper. All right, more junk food. Load up. Oh, nice, some vitamins. That's a nice find. It's been a while since we found that. Yeah, for the farm. Oh yeah, this has got lots of good stuff. Right on. Check the storage. Nice. Jackpot. Still got lots of smokes at home. Oh yeah. Okay, let's throw the stuff in the uh, trailer and down to the warehouse. Um, let's see. Don't think I have a bag. I do have a bag. Okay. Yeah, let's dump as much stuff as we can here. Crickets are out. That means dusk is on its way. Keep those uh, matches on us. Yeah, there's only a few left in there. Better than uh, not finding anything though. There we good. Alright, we're good. Actually, let's just throw that directly into the trunk. Or into the uh, trailer. of the warehouses.
Jesus. Good thing I can go through that. Alright, let's just see who followed us down. Still trying to get that uh, next level of sneaking to 47 away. 37. Got a few. Not a whole lot. Yeah, just a couple more. Let, let that one go. All right, we're a bit drowsy. Let's do this quickly. Now, did we come through here? Looking for paint. I think we may have come through already for paint. Maybe where we got our first. Oh no, there's another one. Never mind. Remember, we did one search for paint somewhere. Got a couple pails at home. in here right away. Don't get caught out. Come on. Let's get that out of the way so it doesn't happen during a horde. We came through here. Wait. May have just missed that brown one. Oh, we'll make sure we got everything. Uh, yeah, we did. Because I remember we found, um, the box of nails that we had missed prior. Maybe we were looking for plaster at the time. Okay, well, that's it for this one. We were actually looking for plaster at the time. I think we'll be sleeping here. This will be like the third or fourth time that we've slept this warehouse. Got our sleeping bag with us this time. Oh, yellow paint. Saw you for a second. Go. Oh. It's too dark in here. Uh, scrap, let's take that. Scanning these as quickly as we can. Scrap.
lots of canteens. Oh, another scrap in here. Who we got now? Four. Um, our shortage though is in newspapers. Plaster. I don't think we need more plaster. That's a lot of plaster, actually. Make a mental note of that. Okay, I think we're good. And it is goddamn dark. Let's go upstairs. Okay, let's get our sleep bag out. Sleep up here. All right, I'll see you in the morning. Perfect, 5.30. Okay, so we have gotten all the paint from this area. out of here quick stock what we got here uh, so we got two things of yellow paint all right so it looks like we're probably gonna be painting something yellow a bit of gray brown I think we got a few got a few full ones Let's, uh, is there anywhere else over here we want to hit up before we go back? We hit up the farm. Should we go into the, uh, trailer park? I don't think we need to go in the trailer park. You know, let's just go home. Go home and start painting. And uh, we did find that nice camper. So I think once our driveway has been built, we'll come grab the uh, trailer, bri uh, bring that out to the cabin. And then come spring and summer, we can just haul that camper uh, on road trips. Have a, um, we won't have to worry about setting up bases. We can just live out of the camper. That would be nice. Okay, uh, I will make the drive home and we'll cut back to uh, do some painting. Alright, let's see what we got here. I got one other paint can here. Is it just one? I guess so, just green. Okay, let's put these other ones down. Put them on our table, actually. Okay, let's grab our paintbrush, which would be where? There. Uh, I did catch a squirrel, so let's toss that in the freezer here. 41, so a pretty good size. Pretty good. Some black paint. Okay, and then in here. Got some red. Gray. And a 
else did we get? Turquoise. All right, I think that is it. Oh no, light blue. All right, well, since we got the most yellow, I think we're gonna paint uh, this room yellow. I mean, we do technically have a bedroom here. So we could paint this section one color, these three walls. And then our kitchen could be one color, and then this area could be one color. Okay, so how about for the bedroom? Maybe blue? How much of that blue paint do I have? Turquoise is full, light blue is full as well. Let's take the light blue. That'll be our bedroom. Ah, uh, let's drop this. I have to move some furniture. Let's see what he can reach. Oh, oh, he can reach it. Okay, here we go. Bedroom. That back. And let's see, the storage room here. Maybe it could be red. Then I think we'll do yellow for the kitchen. And then the out of the outside of the house will have to choose something. Oh, so we can paint the um, shelves, hey? Oh, and the uh, cabinets, hmm. Interesting. I realize that. Just goes to show you how much I actually, uh, <laughs> how often I actually get to painting. I just can't reach that stuff. I'll have to take those down, I guess. I think that looks alright. Yeah, so I'll have to move the um, cabinet in the shelf to get there. Let's put this down here for now. Continue that later. And then red paints. Do our little storage room here, red. Really? All right. Do you think that's the easiest way to do it? This one as well, okay. Who am I to judge? That's the way Aaron so it's got to be done, and that's the way it's got to be done. I think he just wants to get a workout in. So, I'm not going to say it's going to be the most color-coordinated base. Uh, I'm not an interior decorator. As you know, all my bases are usually just <laughs> brown wood. We're trying this time. We're giving it an honest effort this time. Okay, let's put that down. Uh, 
Uh, now... Be interested to try... Actually, we could probably do this right now. We've got extra windows in here. We're gonna put those... Maybe outside. All these crates down here. I'll dump them down here. So it's March 1st, it's still minus 50 out. I was expecting the temperatures to get um, significantly warmer March 1st, but maybe it's gonna be a gradual progression. Which is good anyway. Yeah, so I'll have to pick a color for the outside. Okay, those are down. Move the toaster. I think I just need to move one. I just need to move this one. I should be able to reach both those. Let's just dump all this on the ground. Grab our paint. Let's see if he'll let us. There we go. And I could probably paint that one red now too. There. All right, so let's put that paint down. One again. Hmm. Oh, well, let me paint that. Got through this whole chest here. All right, let's throw this on the ground. back. I am barricade this while I'm here. And I don't have a curtain for that one yet, do I? No. Okay, put that back. Put all this junk food back up. Same here. All right, so it's that one. Uh, let's see. And we can throw our wrap metal up there too. Good. It's a toaster. All right. A little splash of color inside the base. I want to try and paint one of these cabinets turquoise. Let's see what that looks like. Kind of makes it darker. 
Hmm. What do you guys think? Might be too dark, hey? Well, I'm gonna paint it like this for now. Let me know your thoughts. Might be too dark. But it's a start. We'll find uh, more paint as we go. We'll have more options uh, to choose from soon enough. And let's put that down. Okay. So I think that'll do it for this episode, guys. Thanks a lot for coming back and uh, supporting the series. Continuing to support the series. We're uh, nearing episode 50. Halfway to 100. See if we can make it to a uh, hundred this time. We got close with the, the last uh, long season, the Rosewood to Louisville. We made it to the 97 on that one. Let's see how long we can keep Aaron alive for. We are currently five months, one day survived. We made it to five months. One more month to go, and we'll be half a year. 5,640 kills. Uh, we're hovering around 75 kilograms. Here's a quick look at our skills. We noticed a little recap there. Farming about to level up. So is sneaking. It's um, taking its sweet time though. I thought we would have got this a few episodes ago. But it's coming along. And uh, we're actually starting to make progress towards level 5 fitness. So I think that's still a ways out, but it's um, making progress. Let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, next up, we'll be grabbing some floor tiles or carpet. Uh, probably a combination uh, for here. So that'll probably be the next episode. And um, yeah, we'll be one step closer to having a really nice looking cabin here. Uh, make sure you check us out over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Nomus Plays, uh, as well as right here on YouTube where we stream daily. Uh, we'll be streaming some uh, Dwarf Fortress today, so if you'd like to come check us out there and uh, see what that's about, uh, head on over. It uh, should be live by the time this episode goes live. And then we'll be back to Project Zomboid on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. So Twitch integration, chat integration is on Friday, and Tuesday, Thursday is more of our longer form playthroughs. So love to see you out there. I uh, appreciate all the support. Uh, shout out to all of our channel members. Uh, recurring and uh, past ones uh, your support is greatly appreciated all right guys until next time i'll talk to you all later